So uh, for the camera, I had to sand down the sides uh, for it to actually fit. Uh, and uh, it wasn't a perfect fit. And then the camera also comes with this little backplate thing, which I'm not going to use because it's just... I, I guess it's made for the uh, run cam, and it's, the Fox here has a little bit different dimensions, I guess. And it's just it's not fitting good at all. So I had to sand down the sides a bit, and... Um, the, the part where the screw comes in to uh, fit it in correctly um, it was a bit difficult so this is how it's gonna look right there and um, what I'm gonna do is these these are silicon these are amazing uh, so Foxy is doing a very good job right in, in that right there so uh, the video ground and power are gonna go right here and uh, we're gonna put that in right now and then <clears throat> We're gonna power it up, power it up, and see if it powers up, and see if we get uh, some kind of a signal uh, video feed. So let, let's let's get that started with. So I'm, I'm gonna keep a little extra uh, room for the uh, for the wire for the camera wires. Uh, not too much, just a little extra slack. I think right there is gonna be good. Um, so basically, I don't know about this much. So just twist it, and then it'll be fine. It'll just pop right there. So let's strip these. Alrighty. Okay. I don't know how this cutter is gonna strip. Oh, actually, strip pretty well. It's very good. Not that one. My hand's better, I guess. Alright, there we go. Now we got all three. Let's turn on the soldering station. Let's solder them. <coughs> and um, we'll see how we're going to solder these in. Because we got holes right there. So maybe I stick them from the bottom and solder them in and just cut off the the top part so it'll just sit flush nice and easy nice and clean so we got the soldering iron heating it up heating up right now and uh, I might uh, sell this one I don't know after I build it just to uh, uh, support my hobby I guess if anyone is interested in it just let me know um, Okay, let's solder this in. I don't want to turn on the fan because it's uh, very noisy. I played back one of the recordings and uh. And I do apologize for that. Alright, so we got them soldered in. I mean, we got the wires soldered. Okay, let's remove the camera. So it's, don't need it now. Alright. Okay, so how am I going to do this? I don't know yet. Hmm. Let's see. So, focus. Alright. I don't know if you could read it. That's cam, that's five volt, and that's ground. So uh, let's see if we can put it through the holes upwards, and then solder that in like that. Okay. Actually, gonna cut a little bit off of the top because there's not much solder on the top. There we go. You know what? I think I'm just gonna tin them and just put them in like this, like I did with the uh, with the ESCs. So I'm just gonna tin it and then just. Solder like that. Okay. 
think that's the best. So let's just do that right now. Um, okay, we have to move the signal wire, the ESC signal wire out of the way. Let's bring it in. Maybe I should use a little flux on this. Since I don't wanna very very small. Let's start from here. Okay. And again, uh, I'm using the wrong head for this. And flux is just magic. Alright, we got them all three. Oh, let's solder them in place. Read them. Ground five volt cam. So ground. This is gonna be ground right there. So we're gonna have to cut that wire. Just cut it down very tiny, just enough. It's gonna be perfect. That's good. Let's cut this one. It's ground, we finished. Now five fold. That's good. I really do hope this is, uh, supplies it enough power. Uh, says the camera could take from 5 volts to... Uh, uh, we have a lot of... Okay, we have to be careful. There's a little capacitor right next to it. So, Alright, that's perfect. Okay, so that's the camera. Just twist the wires around and it'll just... Just be stuck in there like that. It's gonna be totally fine. Uh, the motors we have to do still, and um, <clears throat> I need to look for the, uh, the antenna, the pigtail. Well, not pigtail. Well, anyways, the antenna extension for the board. So, all right. Um, let me put the camera in place. Let me go look for the antenna so we could test out the video feed. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> the. This flight controller doesn't have a 12 volt output. I mean, I'm sure it does somewhere in here, but I mean, it's not pad or usable in a way that's uh, obvious and uh, easy for people. So, uh, um, what I have is this little mini buck converter thingy, and uh, it takes input between, I think, uh, let me see, I don't remember, uh, between 4 to 23 volts. And uh, just to step down, it'll step down the power. So if we have a 4S in there, it's like 16 and a half on a full charge. So this will do good. We'll just set it to around uh, 12 volts. And uh, uh, this will be like a little filter also. So it's, it's, it's going to be very good. So, but mounting it, I have no idea where to mount it yet. Um, I'm going to hook it up now to power supply. And uh, it, there's a little screw thingy here, the potentiometer that you use to uh, set the output voltage of this thing. So um, uh, I'm going to set that right now to possibly 12 volts. I'll leave a link to everything here uh, 
in the description below. So uh, let, let, let me let me get that out of the way now, and then so we can test out the uh, the whole setup basically. All right, guys. Uh, so I was right about the uh, FC not being able to uh, provide enough power to turn on the Foxier camera, and uh, I set this up. It's giving out 10 volts. Uh, it should filter the camera as well. Um, so what I did is I took um, the input for this, the positive and negative, I took from the pads here. The negative with the negative wires from the ESCs and positive, I just put it on that positive pad. As you can see, this one here. And then positive and negative are coming straight from uh, the Fox here. This is the out. So it's coming in, whatever, anywhere between 3S and a 4S volt. So it's like 11.5 to 16.5 volts in this. And it's just taken out anywhere between 9 to 12 possibly volts here. So, yeah. What I did is I soldered the wires and I put them through like pins. And I just did them and then I cut off everything else. So I don't know how may I might wrap this in a, a heat shrink wrapping. I think yeah, I think I'm probably gonna do that or just tape, but I think heat shrink would be better because then I could just come down back, open it if I have a problem. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna do that real quick, and then uh, start on the uh, uh, the motors, and then we do we set up the where is it the receiver, Fly Sky receiver. I call them the slim receivers. And, um, oh, take a note, um, I put this off camera because I guess I forgot to put it on earlier. And, um, I'm going to have to use higher standoffs here because the USB will touch the uh, positive here. So, yeah, that that's also to note there. <clears throat> um, other than that, it, it's perfect. It's running just fine. Everything's running perfectly. So, I've gone ahead and put the uh, motors on. Um, I still have not soldered them, and I've taped up around half of the ESC with electrical tape. Now what I'm planning on doing is, after I solder the uh, the motors, I will pull this up to around here, and then shrink it, and uh, that that should be that should look very nice, hopefully. And um, the way I'm gonna solder these here is, I'm actually gonna cut the wires. And uh, and solder them, but I'm not gonna cut them exact length. I'm gonna keep a little bit longer, so uh, you know I have room for error. And uh, just in case if I ever wanted to change it, I still have the uh, opportunity to change these motors on another quad. Um, I doubt I will, but you know it's just it's it's always good to have that option. So probably gonna bend them like this. I've cut around half, I think, half of the wire, so let's get started on that right now. I'll be right back once finished. Alright guys, uh, I just finished soldering the uh, ESCs to the motors, and uh, you have, just take note that usually motors 2 and 3 for me on every build, I have to reverse the wire, so I did that. And I uh, put this heat shrink, first part was wrapped with the electrical tape, and then after I soldered it, I just uh, slid the heat shrink up and then heat shrunk it, as you can see. So uh, I'll probably hold it down with zip ties or some electrical tape, I don't know yet. So what I noticed is the, uh, I put these standoffs here, and uh, this FlySky receiver, um, the holes were too small. So I got a X-Acto knife, and I just kept, just, you know, just going like that and it didn't take much and then uh then i just kept trying it until it fit perfect so this is how the stack looks like now uh it's uh seems very clean um so now i'm gonna i'm gonna run this ppm and later on maybe i'll try the fly sky i bus or rest bus whatever they're calling it so I'm going to run it up PPM and then uh, hook up the camera, put it all together and possibly do a little test flight in the house, I don't know, but that, I think that's a very bad idea. So um, <clears throat> yeah, um, I've already gotten the uh, 
eight pin connector of the uh, uh, flight controller and uh, PPM is pin three and uh, I removed everything else because we're not going to need it so we're going to have a uh, PPM ground and, uh, and power so I'm going to connect that in right now uh, should go in like this I believe mm -hmm. so and uh, this will be here like this and I'm gonna have to connect these together so cut the wires and just uh, solder them and possibly heat shrink wrap them also so yeah let's 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 get that out of the way let me all right so uh, I managed to uh, solder the uh, PPM wires from the uh, flight controller connector to the uh, receiver and now we just plug it in and hook up the camera, put everything together, turn it on. I don't think I've forgotten anything. And uh, let's see how it works.